It's January. It's six degrees. The sun is out. I am burning through the milliamp hours without a care. Just really enjoying the flying. And then I see goggles. Five megabits, three megabits. Gone. Oh, brilliant. Oh, look. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I, I've pretty much had enough of this now. I'll tell you what. It's time for GPS rescue. Let's go ahead, get it configured, and give it a try. My name's Johnny. Welcome to the channel. Will it mod? Right, well, sun's out, it's freezing, but the sun is out. Let's try GPS rescue. It's all configured, uh, the drone is working, I have sat lock. So let's take off, flick the switch, and watch it land. See what happens. So here we are in my back garden. Let's take off, head out towards the field, and then initiate GPS rescue through a trigger on the radio. Of course, we've got to do a quick spinny flippy. There we are. Let's get out here above the birds and trigger that now. We can see it's triggered, the angle's altered. So let's skip back into my back garden and uh, see if it actually manages to land. Fingers crossed. Right, I flicked the switch. I've got the goggles off. I've no idea where it is. I can't hear it. Let's see if it makes it back. Now I can hear something. Oh, I can see it. Now we took off real close to here, just a meter out from my position currently. So let's see how well this does in returning back home. It's circling around, presumably trying to work out where it is. Of course there's no compass. This is pretty sketchy. I mean, it, it's there. I wouldn't call that a landing, but it is there, upside down. Landed? No. Returned back? Yeah, always a bonus. Let's try again, see what happens. Right, inside of Betaflight, we are looking at the Configurator version 10.9.0, Release Candidate 4, running firmware 4.4.0, Release Candidate 4. I did notice that Release Candidate 5 is out today, on the 17th of Jan, so I might take a little look into that later, but for now, let's look at Failsafe and My Settings. Now, the Failsafe switch, when it loses signal, uh, the Failsafe switch is, I have set to currently, Stage 2, so it goes straight to the Stage 2 settings, in this case, GPS Rescue. If this were to be on stage one, then failsafe switch would revert to stage one for this amount of time. Guard time for stage two activation after signal lost is one second, so it would revert to these settings for the one second uh, before reverting into stage two. Now all of these are set to auto hold and you can choose to have things as you like. Um, I've set this up as auto for throttle your pitch and roll, um, hold for the majority of the rest with the exception of angle and horizon set to 1000 on my switch. Now 1000 on my switch is going to put it in uh, angle mode. I help if I went to the right setting. It's going to pop it into angle mode um, on here. I believe, let's have a quick look, angle mode, 1000. So it's going to automatically level out the drone um, and, and hold it in its tracks or something similar for around about a second. But anyway, for now, I'm going straight to stage two uh, for testing purposes. Now, stage two, I've got configured with GPS rescue. 
angle of 32 degrees this is the maximum angle or the angle that the drone will fly at uh, when it's in GPS rescue state the initial altitude of meters uh, I set that to 30 meters most of the trees around here aren't taller than 30 meters so it will raise or, or if it's below 30 meters it will raise to that amount before returning home it won't lower to this amount it will just uh, if it's lower than 30 meters it will raise itself to 30 meters before initiating the return to home the descent distance in meters is 20 so if it's within 20 meters of its takeoff uh, or locked home position location it will start its descent so if you tighten that up it will create a narrower funnel for it to drop down into uh, but it can cause some problems um, so I've left this at 20 meters I think that's reasonably acceptable I'm not going to be using this GPS rescue for any uh, um, regular occurrence this really is a rescue it's it's as simple as that if my radio fails if my headset fails if I can't see and I'm going to keep it exactly as that this is not a DJI drone uh, you know it's it's not meant to be flicked and landed um, just don't if if you if you're doing that every day you've bought the wrong thing haven't you anyway ground speed i've set to 40 miles an hour or 17.88 meters a second this is what i spoke about i think this needs to come down i'm going to bring this down to 12.5 or or maybe um let's try let's just go with for 10 meters a second now 10 meters a second it, it should stop that spiraling when it's coming into land um what we were seeing is because there is no compass on this it needs to fly in a direction to work out which way it's headed um and then checking out the gps location so for example if it starts in one place flies forward uh, a little while it will see that it's moved to a new direction or a new spot and it can work out its direction from there i think if the ground speed is set too high you end up with this real circular landing motion where it's always trying to figure out its heading and because by the time it's worked it out it's already traveled at or trying to travel at 40 miles an hour to to the next location to work out where it actually is it, it causes that spiraling so i'm just going to remove that and bring that down to uh, to 10 meters a second i think that's still an acceptable speed to return back home throttle minimum i left these as standards uh 1100 maximum 1600 throttle hover 1275 on this particular model these may vary depending on your model the ascend rate is five meters a second and my descend rate is one meter a second although depending on your gps lock it's uh as, as we've seen in the videos it's not always one meter a second there's some scary drops that happen i got my minimum sats set to six um i'm running a that bn 220 yeah I mean, it's not the best unit in the world typically i'll i'll eventually end up with eight or ten or twelve satellites i have seen as many as 18 but realistically it takes a long time to get there so look, i'm happy with six it's a good rough location the more satellites that you have um, being picked up by your unit, I would say you know raise this to eight if you can. Um, six is fine; it will give you the rough position, but it may not give you an accurate height. Uh, and uh, you know, if 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 it thinks it's further down or up from where it is, it can cause it to crash into the ground, um, as we saw in one of the videos. Now I've got allow arming without fix uh, enabled you can obviously choose to disable this is how it should really be um, if you want to make sure GPS rescue is going to work I just keep an eye out and, and have a look how many satellites are actually locked in before uh, taking off so if I want GPS rescue I wait for a sat lock I wait for six satellites you could set up an alert on your controller um, as well if you wish I've got an alert set up on my LEDs uh, let's have a look at the LED strip in here these are all set to GPS function at the moment so if there is a lock GPS locks they turn green um, red is no sats and orange is no lock so as soon as we've got a GPS lock on here then it's going to go green so effectively if I see my drone go green I can take off um, right let's change this back to let's go to 12 meters a second let's have a little bit of speed save and reboot so that's the settings i'm going to be using from now moving forward seems quite happy uh, you know i've got it got it working and after crashing so many times and having all sorts of issues with the antennas um that's probably a story for another day but um yeah after having so many range issues with the dji 03 unit as well and um this was a, a factory issue where the SMA connectors did not have a central pin. Oh yes, I was effectively flying without antennas. Um, 
for the first couple of weeks uh, because I thought that's just how it was, a rubbish range, you know. It was about on par with the Avata. Hmm. Anyway, much better now. Right. Return to home has been toggled. I can hear it. There it is. Now what I suspect is the speed that's selected in beta flight might be too high for this to uh, to land correctly. So it's going into like a spiral, into a circle. If I lowered the speed, well, here we go. If I lowered the speed at which it travels, it might do a better job. That's not bad. And that's, what, two metres away from where it was, from where we took off. So, what I think at this point, if we lower the speed, I think it's set at about 40 miles an hour at the moment in beta flight, but if we were to lower that to 30, 25 miles an hour, something like that, it might stop this from spiralling around and circling. I think what that is, because there's no, no compass, um, beta flight doesn't use the compass in this, and if you put one in it's kind of a waste of time I think because I did try uh, but the interference was so high it just wasn't getting a good reading anyway I think if we lower the speed the drone will come back slower sure but it might not circle around as much I think it's circling because it's trying to get that heading remember it doesn't know which way north is so in order to get a heading it's having to fly in a direction uh, and then watch the GPS uh, change and as it knows where its position has changed it, it knows which way it's heading to a degree now I think that's obviously going to change with high winds and stuff so GPS rescue and high winds is going to be probably quite horrific but let's face it it's not there it, this isn't a DJI drone this isn't designed to uh, to return back to home because we're all incapable it's in an emergency this is when we need it so uh, anyway let's go back in review the data and uh, make a couple of tweaks so the settings work. 12 meters a second have stopped the circling around on landing. And this is all about losing signal through the goggles. You know, ELRS has been fantastic. It's predictable. The signal is strong. But the goggles, when it drops off, it drops off fast. This gives me an option to flick a switch and have the drone come back within range so then I can take control again. It's not always about it landing. But for now, this gives me a real good option if that signal does drop moving forwards. I've got a safe way of retrieving the drone. Look, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful for you. Uh, and if you did like it, please click subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.